Welcome back to another video, my brothers. So in today's video, I want to discuss my fat loss journey over the last three months and how I went from almost 26% body fat to approximately 10.8% body fat right now. So let's get straight into it. Back in November, I was looking in the mirror and I was pissed off at myself. I didn't like the way I looked. And look, at this point, I had been going to the gym for about, what, seven years, on and off. You know, I'm not going to put my hand up and say, oh, I've been, you know, so consistent in my 20s. Because I had phases. I had phases where I would go consistently and then phases where I wasn't as motivated. But I would say over the last two years, I've been very disciplined when it comes to going to the gym. As in, I go four to five times a week on a consistent basis. But I still wasn't happy. And you might be thinking, well, Ali, what do you mean you're not happy? You go four to five times a week, surely, you know, your body would be great. And it wasn't. And I'll tell you why it wasn't. Because I was eating shit. And I knew that as well. I would convince myself, no, I don't want to be one of those guys who weighs broccoli and shit like that. And that was my excuse. I don't have the time to meal prep. I, I was having, I was coming up with all these bullshit excuses. But when I would look in the mirror, I was I was fat. And that's what I would tell myself, man, you're fucking chubby. Yeah, you know, you could bench press 95 kg, whatever. I felt strong, don't get me wrong. But I didn't look good. My body did not reflect the hard work that I was putting in the gym. And I knew that subconsciously, I knew that if I cleaned up my diet, I'd have a much better physique. But I just didn't know where to start. I didn't know where to start. And I didn't know whether or not I should continue in this, doing the same workouts as well. Because even my workouts were the same workouts that I was doing over the last few years. I didn't have a disciplined workout routine. Okay, I'd be doing the same exercises that I'd been doing since I was, what, 21, 22. I'd bench, squat, this and that, a few exercises targeting each muscle group. But there was no specific focus. Okay. So in November, I decided, you know what, fuck this shit. I need to take my health seriously. So I got in touch with a uh, nutritionist and personal trainer, uh, somebody that I, well, I saw quite frequently at the gym that I go to. And then I saw him on Instagram, so I just decided to get in touch. And I told him, listen, man, I want to improve my physique. I'm not happy with the results that I've been getting. And um, he said, come down to the gym and, and let's have a look at your physique and find out what the issue is. So I came down to the gym and uh, he asked me a few questions. He told me, you know, what are you eating right now? Run me through your day. And um, I was telling him what I was eating every single day. And he was like, yeah, your diet is shit. And bear in mind, you know, I was eating a lot of protein, but I was also eating a lot of other shit that I shouldn't be eating. So um, he told me, yeah, your diet is shit. And then he asked me, what's your workout routine like at the moment? And I was very truthful with him. I told him, you know what, man, I bench, I do this and that. But there was no specific plan of action. Okay, I was just doing what I thought was a good idea to do. Yeah, bench, I do dumbbell inclines. And, but there was nothing set in stone. Okay, and I certainly wasn't measuring my progress when it came to the, the weights that I was lifting. I wasn't keeping track of, okay, this week I lifted this much, next week. There was none of that. Okay, so then... I decided to embark on a fat loss journey. Okay, I started working with him very closely. And look, I'm a big believer in investing in yourself, guys. You know this. If you consume my content, you know that I preach investing in yourself. Don't be cheap, especially when it comes to your health. Okay, some of you guys are worried about spending an extra 20 pounds a month uh, on a, a nicer gym. You know, look, there's nothing wrong with going to a 20 pound a month gym. Okay, I have several memberships. But also, it's a good idea to invest in a, in a nice gym membership, okay? A gym with multiple, with you know, different types of equipment, plenty of equipment, because you don't want to go to a gym where there's only one bench rack, right? So anyway, so I invested in this individual's um, nutrition and workout plan. His name is Sam, shout out to Sam. Uh, he's been doing it for several years. And uh, he created a customized workout plan and nutrition plan with me. Now, obviously, he explained to me that the reason why you're 26% body fat is because 
you're not tracking your calories, you're just eating, and, and you're eating more than you should eat. That's why you're packing on the pounds. I was like 91 kg when I started working with him. Okay, so I was too heavy, too heavy. It wasn't 91 kg of pure muscle, no. I was carrying too much fat. 26% of my body was fat, okay? That's way too high. And another, you know, the, the issue with having high body fat, fellas, is that it reduces your testosterone as well. Okay, so the lower your body fat percentage is, the better it is for your body, okay? So I started working with him and wow, honestly, I thought the results would take ages to start showing up, but I was losing almost a kilogram a week working with him. I was in a deficit, a calorie deficit of uh, 1,000, well, the, the deficit wasn't 1,800, but I was eating 1,800 calories a day. Okay, and I started shedding that fat quick. That was obviously coupled with a uh, strict workout plan. So my workout split at the moment is upper, lower, cardio, upper, lower. So I target the upper body twice a week, lower body twice a week, and then a day strictly for cardio. And I was shedding the pounds. I was losing fat quick and my face started to look better. You know, you notice it in your face, gentlemen, when you start to shed the pounds, you can see it in your face. And I was like, fuck, man, I'm looking good. And then I started to see more definition around my chest because my chest before was, you know, was carrying a lot of fat. And uh, I looked like I had a fucking huge pair of tits. I wasn't happy with myself. And uh, overall as well, around my biceps, I was carrying too much fat, shoulders, back, right? Legs, fucking hell, man. I was carrying way too much fat on my thighs. So yeah, I was shedding the pounds and I was dropping almost a kilogram a week. And uh, one thing that was a game changer for me was walking. You know, now you might, you might be thinking, walking, what the fuck? Before, I wasn't walking as often as I should have walked. I was driving everywhere, and I'd probably, at the end of the day, get about two, two and a half thousand steps in, which is shocking, appalling, you know? Gentlemen, look, walking is free. You don't have to pay to walk. You can walk around the lake in your neighboring uh, park. You can walk around your city, walk. If you go to a supermarket, park far away so that you have to walk a distance to get into the supermarket and then walk back. Okay, don't give me the bullshit, but I want to be conveniently close to the end. Nah, fuck that shit. Walk, man. You know, you burn calories and it's a low intensity thing to do. It's not like running where, you know, it takes a lot of energy. No, walking is something that doesn't require a huge amount of effort, right? So walking, I was doing about 10,000 steps a day. It's what he told me to do. And look, in the beginning, I struggled. I'll be honest with you, because I was doing about two, two and a half thousand a day. So the jump up to 10 was challenging. But I just started walking everywhere. I'd park my car far away, walk loads around my uh, a lake, around my neighboring uh, park. I'd walk around the city. I just stopped using my car as often. And um, walking definitely helped help me shed the, uh, the fat. And so fast forward, today is what, March the 6th? Yeah, March the 6th. So I currently weigh about 77 and a half kilograms. And I started off at 91 kg, 91. So just cleaning up my diet, okay, and getting a lot of steps in every single day drastically improved my overall health. There was no need for me to be carrying that much fat around. And looking back at some of my before pictures, I'm appalled at myself. Now, obviously, I'm proud of myself for losing all that fat, of course. But I look back at my before pictures and I'm like, fuck it now. What happened? It's almost like I don't recognize who the fuck that guy is. Who is that guy? How the fuck did I allow myself to get to that position? Okay, so look, guys, you can see results very quickly. You know, that was this is all in what, three, four months? Three, four months is all it takes to turn your life around physically. You know, my clothes fit me better than before. Before, I, you know, my clothes were really tight on me. My trousers. Now I can fit into some of the trousers that I couldn't wear a few months ago. Okay, and I thought, yeah, man, I got gains, whatever, back in the day, man, it's stupid. I, I was just too fat. And you gotta keep it real with yourself. Don't be, don't give me this whole body positivity bullshit. No, I've gotta be kind to myself. No, if you're fat, you gotta call yourself out. I'm a fat bastard. I need to lose this fat. Okay, so if there's any bit of advice, 
I can give you to wrap up this video, it is to take your nutrition very seriously. If you are overweight right now, you need to reduce your caloric intake, reduce the calories, get into a deficit. Look, in the beginning, you're going to feel hungry. I felt hungry. Okay, and I thought, man, surely this is wrong. Surely if I'm hungry, that means it's bad for my body. No, your body's just not used to eating less calories. But as you reduce your weight, your maintenance drops as well. You don't need as many calories to maintain your body weight. Okay, so 91 kg me needed more calories than 77 kg me. Okay, and it's not about weight. A lot of guys think if I weigh a lot, that means I'm a strong dude. No, but you're fat though. You've got tits. Okay, your face is fat. So look, you don't need to be carrying that much fat. My muscle mass now is higher than it was when I first started. Imagine that. Because a lot of people think, well, if you've lost that much fat, that means your muscles have just fucking disappeared as well. No, I've reduced my fat, but I've also increased my muscle mass in that time. So it's a win-win. All right. So I improved my nutrition. I started working out consistently. I started to keep track of the weights that I was lifting. And I started walking everywhere. Those three things right there helped me lose how much? Wait, 91 kg, almost 13, 14 kilograms. Okay. Fucking hell, that's a lot, you know, 81. Yeah. Wow. Just deep the maths right now. That's incredible. Well done, Ali. <laughs> but yeah, guys, you can do it too. Okay. Look, and, and by the way, I still eat a nice cake here and there. You know, the other week I tucked into a, a whole tub of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Now you might be thinking, what? Surely you, that's a bad thing, Ali. No, I rewarded myself. From time to time, it's okay. Now I'm conscious of what I eat. Oh, this probably has about 600 calories. Mm. But if I've deserved it, if I, for example, walked 15,000 steps three days in a row, man, I'll reward myself with a nice cake, with some ice cream, whatever. I don't think you should make it extreme. Because if you withdraw yourself from any pleasurable sugary snack or anything like that, then you might end up just relapsing hard. You might end up saying, you know what, fuck this broccoli, I just want to eat whatever, and then you're back to where you were. Because a lot of guys are like that. They embark on a transformational journey physically for three, four, five months. They're very disciplined, but they don't reward themselves in the process. And so at the end, what happens is they just crumble. They're like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. Fuck this shit. And then they just start eating whatever again, and then they pack on the pounds, okay? So don't forget to reward yourself as you are working your ass off. It's okay. It's not going to ruin your progress. This mentality is fucking... As long as you're not doing it every day. As long as you're not doing it every day, then it's okay. Okay? So hopefully this video has provided you with some value, guys. Uh, if it has, make sure you give it a like. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let me know what you think down below as well if you have also embarked on your own uh, fitness journey, uh, whether you've lost some fat or you've built some muscle. Share your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.